Hello everybody and welcome to the watermelon unboxing series. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually received this package today so I am going to do an unboxing but it's a very special unboxing because it's the Dreamcast and PC versions of Pure Solar actually manufactured by the factory. So this is this is a production sample. This is what I'm going to test to confirm that the game is ready for production and I'm sharing this with you. So let's start. I can't wait to rip this thing apart and see what's inside. There we go. So inside is a box. So great. It's actually the box that I sent to Fonzie a few weeks ago. It still has the label, so obviously it was well preserved. Now, if I can actually find Pegasus. There you go. And there it is. Alright, so bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is good because it doesn't allow stuff to get broken. So let's see if it's exciting stuff or not. I do have a uh, focus creep. Well, it's Fonzie's card. It's, it's okay. It looks good. Wow. So here it is. The American version the PC and the European version the Japanese those are those are Japanese European and PC in here uh, well as you guys are not seeing anything right so let's let's start with uh, like they all came like this so I'm actually gonna take the, take it out that this is a Dreamcast this is a Dreamcast Pure Solar finished quality. You can see the reflection of the camera back there. It looks amazing. This Armin's artwork on the background looks just pretty nice. Now the other ones are pretty much the same. It's the same artwork but as everyone will see that's the Dreamcast, so it's a standard of the labeling is a standard Japanese standard, so it will look like just every other uh, Japanese game that you have. And then uh, finally, the European, which I did not get a European uh, CD, the, the, the box case, but well, I have to trust Fonzie, he knows what he does, so. Um, um, if it says it's good it's probably because it really is so here it is that's the European version with the standard labeling for European boxes it looks just very nice uh, uh, CD okay that's this is the PC the PC build and it just just the same design but it says PC here and DVD ROM there because that's why it comes to the media comes as a DVD media very nice looks very cool it has I don't know if anyone will be able to read this but uh, if the camera would only, only would focus but it won't it has on the ring it has watermelon pier so oh there you go Watermelon, Pure Solar, and the Great Architects Watermelon. That's really neat. Next is the actual finished product. And as you can see, it does look much better than the one I did in my printer. <laughs> it does look much better and it looks just fine. It's a very a high quality print. It looks very nice. Now, the 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 CD, the the case itself looks quite bulky. 
and Fonzie kind of warned me about this is just because it comes with so much stuff inside. So I see a poster here, which I'm not going to show this poster. You guys are going to have to see it for yourselves. Uh, it's a, there's a sticker set and there's the instruction manual which comes it's separate from the actual insert here so if you just leave I think the instruction manual and uh, let me put it this back just leave the instruction manual and uh, oh, Fonzie kind of warned me about this it's a little hard to put it back if it's done with great care anyone can do it so if you just leave this here and it closed just fine and I can actually pick up the American CD to put it on its rightful place yes it closed just fine it's not bulky at all it's just because of the poster actually just adds this volume but once you open it you will take the poster out and then it will just it will close just fine this is because we printed in the very high quality uh, density of paper so uh, the manual itself when you when you touch the paper each each uh, each uh, page here looks very uh, it feels really good so it looks very nice and uh, yeah I'm very happy I say I don't know if it's uh, possible to show on the camera but it's actually gold ink I could probably can see a little bit it's actually gold ink so it looks really nice it, the same goes for this color here and this color here it's actually gold ink so it looks very professional that's the insert how the box looks inside very nice again you see the gold ink going here and the pure solar original artwork the, the same artwork that was on the Mega Drive and, and the Sega Genesis box. Um, you rest this guy back here again. That's how it's gonna look. And this is how it looks. I didn't get any sample of the European uh, version or the Japanese version, but I can tell you pretty much it's gonna look like this, but printed in high quality print, which is a good thing. Same goes for the European it will come on the European case just printed in high quality ink and uh, the European version because it it had it has so much space inside so most likely like here I'm, I'm putting two the two manuals of Dreamcast stuff here and it just fits uh, very very nicely there's no bulk bulkiness so this one will be very fine it's just that European, perhaps the Japanese will feel a little bulky before you actually uh, take the stuff out. Other than that, it looks just great. Now, I guess, like they say, without further ado, I should go and test these guys if they are working fine on the on a Dreamcast, and then I'll test the PC later. Would you like to join me? I'm sure you do, so let's go. Hi everyone, I'm back, and now it's time to test this uh, beautiful CD over here in the actual Dreamcast. So let's not waste any time and let's do this. Phase one, boot, okay, pass, next.
phase two, okay, it passed. It's running and it is great. Yes. Very nice. Well, I'm proud to say that it works. It works and it's ready to manufacture then. Last step is just send an email to Fonzie and say, hey, let's manufacture those very nice CDs. <laughs> I'm very happy, I'm very happy. And uh, this, is, this, is a great, this is a great moment. Okay, uh, one last thing I forgot to show is that on last uh, update video I promised I was going to show the New Game Plus functionality. So very simply, New Game is a new game that starts with one of, these, one of the slots as a base of what are the items and what are the, the money that you have in. So if I just go here and select this game, it asks me if I want a new game or if I want a New Game Plus. So I'm choosing New Game Plus here, I'm giving a name to the save, and here we go. I'll just try to skip as fast as I can in this intro because I obviously seen this over a thousand times. and I don't really care for the dialogue anymore. <laughs> Alright, there we go. What's really important to see is this. I already start with all of this stuff, which is just great. Now I can equip uh, whatever item I want, and that's what really makes it very nice. So that, that's, that's the really, really cool stuff. Five feather, five dragon tooth, yes, everything is here. So, yes, that essentially, and you, you can see that Austin himself, uh, it's already starting and the level that he was on the previous um, game. Probably won't have uh, any spell that's associated with the learning from a book or something so those of you who have to learn again or if you save the book from the previous save then you can just use it so yeah that, that's new game plus a lot of people have been asking about oh, oh well, how about the strategy guide well strategy guide has been already manufactured along with all of these uh, printed materials so essentially the, the last thing that was really pending was a CD like this to get to me so that I could test on the Dreamcast and validate that it, it is working. Now, although I did this test here, it doesn't end here. I have to test this on the Japanese, on the European Dreamcast, on uh, a few of the more rare hardware out there and make sure that it's uh, booting up and, and working okay. So. That should take me a few more hours and I'll send this to Chewy the programmer to validate on his hardware as well but that's going to be very fast because uh, he's, or, he's also receiving a sample just like I did and uh, once we okay most likely by the end of this week we just uh, send the green signal to Fonzie and he should be able to manufacture those CDs in about one week or two then assemble 
shipped to the distribution centers and then shipped to you. So we are looking at a shipment most likely by the end of June, hopefully. And uh, yes, I, I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to see the other packages, how they look like, and the collector's box. Fonzie didn't send me a sample, so I don't have one to show it to you, to share with you. But, but knowing uh, his competence in creating this kind of materials, I'm pretty sure it's going to be magnificent. So that's all for now. Uh, if you have any questions, send us a message. As I uh, said in previous videos, we don't always monitor the comments down here. So if you can just uh, go to Kickstarter message, send us a message and we're going to reply to you as quick as we can. And uh, if you have any, any other concerns regarding any other products that are not from the, this Kickstarter, you can always uh, write to us on the support in the magicalgamefactory.com. Right, nice talking to you. Until the next time.